hey what's up guys welcome back and for today's video we'll be seeing two things first is how to download python on your system and second will be running first python program which will be hello world so let's begin so first open your favorite browser and uh, navigate to the website python.org here on the menu hover over the download section and uh, I am using windows system so I will show you how to download on windows so click on windows so now the latest version of python is 3.6 or 7 so we will download that now there are different kind of files here like x86 web based installer executable installer and embeddable zip file so what we want is executable installer so I am on a 64 bit system so I will go down here and download Windows x86 64 executable installer. Now I have already downloaded the file so you can pause the video till you download the file and resume back. So now just double click on the file and you will see this installer. Now here we want to do the install now but before doing that don't forget to check this checkbox of add python 3.7 to path. So check that and then continue with install now. Now just wait for the installation to complete. So after successful installation, if you look in the start menu, you will see python 3.7 module docs, manuals, ideally and a command line for python. So first click on the IDLE which is integrated development environment or you can say as integrated development and learning environment whatever you can call. So it's basically a python shell command where you can execute your python scripts. So here we'll try to print the hello world. So the syntax is print opening the parenthesis and passing the string hello world. Now if you are using python 2.7 then you don't need to put the parenthesis. But if you are using any version above 3 then you must have parenthesis. So hit enter now and uh, you will see the output. Now you can do the same thing with python command as well. So you can open that as well and uh, write again the same thing print hello world and it will display it. So this completes the purpose of the tutorial of downloading and running your first program in python. So I hope you like the video and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.